Here we are already on the show floor of Mobile World Congress 2018 in Barcelona. And we've got another packed show for you. Today, you're gonna to see a driverless car powered by a Huawei smartphone, something new from Asus, and a concept phone from Vivo. Let's go take a look. Can a driverless car be controlled by a smartphone? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. And we found out in a dramatic fashion today, thanks to Huawei. No, Huawei's not going into the autonomous car business. The point of the demonstration was to show the speed of the Kirin 970 and its neural processing unit when recognizing objects. The phone controlled car skillfully managed to avoid the obstruction, all due to a completely standard Mate 10 Pro phone. Pretty impressive. Asus announced the Zenfone 5 series, consisting of the Zenfone 5Q, Zenfone 5, and the Zenfone 5Z. The last two both share the same iPhone 10 style design, right down to that controversial notch at the top of the screen. The Zenfone 5Z has a Snapdragon 845 processor, up to eight gigabytes of RAM, and up to 256 gigabytes of storage. The price, depending on the specification that you choose, starts at $500, and the phone will be out in June. Vivo captured a lot of attention at CES for its in-display fingerprint sensor, and it has come to MWC 2018 with the Vivo Apex, an exciting concept phone with technology that may appear in future devices. We love the full screen display with its tiny bezels, the really cool pop-up selfie camera, and the larger fingerprint area that can now recognize two fingerprints at the same time for more security. However, there's no guarantee we'll ever see these features in a smartphone we can actually buy. Exciting stuff, right? It's the end of another day at Mobile World Congress and everybody's making their way out, but that doesn't mean the coverage stops for you because there's plenty more about MWC 2018 on Digital Trends. We'll see you in the morning.